to think that you can wake up one morning and, and be worried about what colour shoes you're going to match with which dress and then the next day you're suddenly fighting for your life. It's um, an incredible change. I'd graduated from uni and felt like I had the world at my feet and had so many hopes and plans and dreams and I assumed that I had all the time ahead of me and that I was in control. And then the moment you're diagnosed with cancer, all that control that you think you have over your your life and your health and your future is suddenly taken away from you. Um, and and all there really is is life and death. That's that's all you see. So I think the focus changed from the minute I walked through the doors at Peter Mac. It was about treatment became about who I was and, and what I wanted and what my goals were rather than just about what was happening to this cluster of cancer cells that was growing on my neck. And that was really empowering. They took the time to just, just to get to know me and where I was at in life and what my goals and hopes and values were. Um, and that was to become a, just a, as in an important part of the treatment plan as what the diagnosis was. For me, the goal of treatment is m more than just being cancer free. It's about what's beyond the six months of treatment and um, I didn't just want to be cancer free at the end of six months. I wanted to go on to live the healthy and happy and long life that I'd always planned. I chose to delay treatment to to freeze eggs and was supported by the treating team at Peter Mac to do that. Um, and I was also offered a, a medicine that was still being trialled. So it was, a, it was a medicine that was still, I was advised at the time that it was still undergoing clinical trials um, and it could possibly help to protect my ovaries from the from damage caused by the chemotherapy, and it, at the time it offered hope that I didn't think I had. So I took advantage of it, and halfway through my treatment, I switched on the news to see that the the results of the clinical trial had been very successful, and that was very exciting and offered a lot of hope. <laughs> People are so often congratulating me on beating cancer and I'm really hesitant to, to claim any sort of personal victory because every time you walk into the treating room at Peter Mac or you sit in a waiting room, you're always aware that there's people around you that are fighting just as hard and, and they haven't done anything differently but they've had different outcomes. And for me, it's not enough that I've survived cancer when I know that so many others haven't. The only thing that gives me hope is the thought that is medical research and the thought that perhaps in 10 or 20 or 30 years time having cancer could mean something completely different.